So in this video, I'm going to talk about codominance, as well as explain what multiple alleles are. And so codominance is when the heterozygote shows the traits associated with both homozygous genotypes. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you have a, so let's say you have an animal. And so since I can't really draw, this circle over here is going to represent any animal. Let's say a cat, for example. So this cat right here has stripes that are vertical. And then it's mated with another cat that has stripes that are horizontal. And then if these traits are codominant, then you're going to get horizontal and vertical stripes on the offspring. So it'll kind of look like a plaid cat. And so that's essentially what codominance means. It's when both alleles are expressed. However, it's important to remember that you often see codominance in molecular traits. And so the most common example is blood. And so let's talk about that. And so as you can see, when it comes to blood, you have many alleles over here. These are all the alleles that you can have. And so here, IA over here is the same thing as A. IO is the same thing as O. And it's only written like that for convention, by convention. And so as you can see, there are multiple alleles that can determine the blood type. And so it's not only round or wrinkled P's, for example. And so multiple alleles is defined as a trait that is determined by more than two alleles. And so when it comes to blood type, it's actually kind of unique. Type O blood is going to be recessive to type A and type B. And so if you have the genotype AO, so you have one A allele and one O allele, your phenotype or your blood type is actually going to be A. So O is recessive to A and B. And as a result, it's very rare to get that. Now, how does this relate to codominance? Well, as you can see right here, if you have an A allele and a B allele, they're both going to be expressed to give you a blood type of AB. And so as I stated before, the heterozygote, which is right here, AB, shows the traits associated with both homozygous genotypes, so type A and type B. And so that's pretty much just what codominance is. That pretty much sums it up for this video as well. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.